Hello and welcome to ONTV News. I'm Megan Peters. And I'm Cheryl Coonan. The Lake Orion Police Department has partnered up with several local businesses for their annual Shop with a Hero event. Shop with a Hero allows low-income families who cannot afford to experience Christmas the chance to shop for food and gifts. Northern Flooring and Interiors held a fundraiser on November 19th benefiting Shop with a Hero. Northern Flooring is also celebrating 25 years of business in Lake Orion. Owner Matt Pfeiffer is grateful to give back to a community that has given him so much. You know, to own a business and to have uh, the support of the community, uh, I'm blessed to have that. And uh, we've been successful because of the community. So I just think it's our responsibility to give back to the community in every way we can. And we try to be involved in as many um, local charitable efforts uh, as we can throughout the year just to show our appreciation for the support we've received. Lake Orion Chief of Police Jerry Narsh says it was the good nature of a local resident that began Shop with a Hero. About eight years ago, uh, I got called to the home of a gentleman in Lake Orion whose health was poor, and um, he really seriously was not sure if he was going to, to live. And uh, he handed me $2,000 in cash, and he said, I, I want you to find some children who aren't going to have a good Christmas and help them experience that morning, that moment, that magic Christmas morning. And it was very, very important to him, and I could tell that it was a memory that meant a lot to him. Uh, so I, I took that, that was a, a mantle, uh, a challenge, and uh, I took it back to the officers and staff and we talked about it, and uh, we met up with Myers up in Oxford at that time, and uh, we started our program with Shop with a Hero and started taking kids, and I think that first year we took about 15 children. Um, and then we, we kind of made a commitment to the community. The goal was, as long as the need was there and the dollars came in, for every $150 uh, that we receive, we'll take another child shopping. And it's amazing how the numbers and uh, the need just always seems to balance. It's kind of a miracle happens there every year. Thanks to the generosity of local businesses, including Sister Souls, Northern Flooring, and Target, several hundred underprivileged children will receive a Merry Christmas. Based on what we've seen over the last few years, we're looking at 100 families this year. and. Uh, we're hoping today in this event is going to help us meet that goal. After eight years at Meyer, Shop with a Hero will take place on Tuesday, December 9th at 6 p.m. at Target and Auburn Hills. Low-income children will shop with local police officers, firefighters, and military personnel. To donate or to find out more information about the cause, log on to sistersouls.org. Beginning in 1938, November 11th was originally known as Armistice Day to commemorate the end of World War I. In 1954, Congress officially changed Armistice Day to Veterans Day to honor those who have served in all U.S. wars. On Tuesday, November 11th, veterans and members of the community assembled at the Orion Center to observe Veterans Day. It was the second time a ceremony was held at the Orion Center. In 2013, the ceremony was quickly relocated from the Orion Veterans Memorial due to poor weather conditions. This year, Orion Township partnered with representatives of the Veterans Memorial to host a moving ceremony that included musical performances from Lake Orion High School's choir and the North Oakland Concert Band's Patriotic Band. The event was hosted by Community Programs Director Lisa Sokol. The main thing that we just really wanted to stress was how much we appreciate their service to our country, to recognize those who were no longer living that had served the country, and just the amount of services that we need to provide to veterans who come home because they deserve the best that America can offer for the, the love and the service they gave to our country. Lake Orion's American Legion Post 233 Commander John Ranville spoke to those in attendance about the challenges veterans face after returning home from combat. He talked about the services the American Legion offers to veterans. A lot of veterans set home alone. Uh, if they don't have family, they're alone. Uh, we offer uh, fellowship with other veterans. Uh, you don't have to come down there and drink. Uh, there's a lot of veterans that come down there that don't drink and just socialize. Uh, they come down there and play cards. Um, uh, once in a while, 
especially during the winter, the bartender will make soup and have a little soup in the afternoon for them. Uh, uh, these veterans need to meet with other veterans and relate. Uh, they don't so much talk about war situations, maybe they do, but uh, it, it's nice just hanging with some other people that are living the same experiences and have gone through the same trauma. Lake Orion's American Legion Post 233 welcomes new members. If you're served in the U.S. military or are a family member of a veteran, give them a call at 248-693-2782 to find out how you can become a member. The future looks bright at the Orion Township Fire Department after voters approved two fire-related millages recently. Firefighters seem to be all smiles as they gathered in downtown Lake Orion for a photo shoot. On the morning of Sunday, November 9th, a portion of Flint Street in downtown Lake Orion was closed to traffic for a very special photo shoot. More than 30 Orion Township firefighters arrived in full gear to recreate a vintage photograph that was discovered by the department's Chris Hagen. I went through a box of old documents and found this really cool old photo taken right in the spot that's behind me. And the eight years I've been on, we've never done a department group photo. So this is really important to me to do. I mean, it got everybody on board really quick. So it was just a, a cool photo recreation about 70 years later. The facade of the building located at 27 East Flint Street bears the date 1900 and originally served as Orion's town hall. A major fire in 1910 prompted the creation of Lake Orion's first fire department. This historic building housed the fire department until 1980. Village offices occupied the building for more than three decades, but are in the process of relocating to the Union Church building located at 21 East Church Street. Lockhart's Barbecue will soon open a restaurant at this historic location. Uh, yeah, right behind me, the old town hall. Been here, I don't know, 114 years. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting in. I haven't seen any plans yet, but I'm sure they're going to make it a uh, first-class place. The timing of the photo shoot couldn't have been more perfect to capture the Orion Township firefighters as the department goes through major changes. In August, voters approved a millage to allow the fire department to increase staffing and in November, a capital and equipment millage was passed. The Orion Township Board recently voted to approve the promotion of 12 paid on-call firefighters to full-time status beginning January 1st. Running enthusiasts of all ages came out for the 8th Annual Schrager Memorial 5K and Fun Run held Saturday, November 15th at the Lake Orion High School. With temperatures hovering around 22 degrees, the nearly 200 competitors ranging from ages 6 to 79 bundled up to beat the chill. The annual event honors Josh and Timothy Schrauger, brothers who tragically lost their lives in an auto accident. The two were avid cross-country runners for Lake Orion High School. The day began bright and early with the one-mile fun run at 9.30 a.m. and ended with a challenging 5K race. Top finishers were awarded first through fourth place trophies. Special awards included the Lake Orion Middle School and local church with the most participants. Oakview Middle School and the Lake Orion Methodist Church won in those categories. All proceeds from this event went to Love, Inc., a charitable organization that helps families in need around northern Oakland County. We had some new sponsorships this year, which was great. I think that we're close to the 200 participant mark, which is what our goal was. We've, we've had like in the 160s the last couple years, so, um, so that's good. Uh, it's a great cause to support Love, Inc. They do so much for families in need all around the Orion Oxford community, and so they're great. It's great to have them as a beneficiary, um, and I'm just thrilled to have so many people come out and, and do this in honor of and in memory of Tim and Josh. Uh, it's been a while since we lost them, but when we come for this event, it helps keep their spirit alive. The event ended with a group photo to mark the occasion. If you would like to see the full results of the Schrager Memorial 5K or to see upcoming races in the Orient area, log on to runmichigan.com. Races are held every weekend throughout the year. The holiday season is upon us, and a recent charity event seemed to help people get into the Christmas spirit. ONTV's Joe Johnson was at the Lions Club charity auction and brings us the story. On Saturday, November 8th, more than 200 members of the community gathered at Malash's Palace Chrysler dealership on M24 for the Lake Orion Lions A Christmas for Everyone charity auction. Those in attendance enjoyed a buffet dinner provided by Victoria's Delights in Oxford and were able to bid on 120 items during a silent auction. Some of the items were purchased by the Lions Club, but most were donated by area businesses. Another 25 items were up for grabs during a live auction, including a puppy. 
All the proceeds generated by ticket sales and auctions go toward the Lions Club's Christmas Basket Program. Our Christmas Basket Program feeds over 200 families in need of food during the holidays. We provide them with about uh, a week's worth of food and some presents for the kids. Jim Leach Jr. and his wife Kim acted as co-chairs for the event. They've been working year-round to collect the items for the auctions. My grandfather and my dad both were Lions members in Lake Orion and I grew up with it and I've always helped them with the Christmas baskets and we were lucky enough to you know not be on on the other side where we needed anything. And it just, it's great to give back to the community make sure everybody has a great Christmas. I was told the goal was to raise $20,000 from the event. It was the seventh year in a row the charity auction has been hosted at the Malash dealership. They're just amazing. There's just absolutely no way we could put this on without them. I mean, they give us this place for free and they give back to us in so many ways. It just, I can't say enough how great they are. Uh, it's one of the rare chances you get to belong to a charity and uh, be engaged in one that pretty much every dollar you raise gets to go directly to help someone in need of something. And most charities, there's administration fees, all this other stuff, where in this charity there's not. If you give a dollar to this charity, every dollar, every one goes right to the end user. There's no delivery fees, there's no administration fees. I've seen it firsthand, I've delivered the goods myself, I do it every year, my family does with me. And it's just a great charity. There's not too many that do that. Lions Club members will continue to raise funds for their Christmas basket program by selling Goodfellows newspapers over Thanksgiving weekend and the first weekend in December. Volunteers will assemble Christmas baskets on December 19th and 20th, and volunteers are needed. For more information, visit LakeOrionLions.org. In Orion Township, I'm Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Thanks, Joe. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll have a report from Katie Shimatero on a new business opening up downtown. You are watching ONTV News. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Joanne Van Tassel, here on behalf of the Lake Orion Lions Club to let you know that again this year, the Lions Club will be doing Christmas baskets of food and gifts for families in need here in the Orion area. This year there are donation boxes at a number of locations and those locations are shown on your screen. We'd appreciate whatever help you could provide in assisting the Lake Orion Lions Club in providing much needed food for needy folks here in our community. Welcome back to ONTV News, I'm Cheryl Coonan. And I'm Megan Peters. A new business recently opened in Lake Orion and is keeping its customers nice and warm this winter season. Katie Shimatero has more. A new coffee hot spot has opened up in downtown Lake Orion. A bean to go is located at 16 West Flint Street and is brewing up much more than great coffee. We have lattes, cappuccinos, pour over is one of our huge sellers. It's an opportunity for you to pick your own coffee out. We grind it in front of you and brew it right in your cup. It's fabulous, extremely fresh. Uh, we do smoothies, many options for kids. We do fruit drinks, uh, steamers, which is a, a flavored milk, so to speak. Uh, we do fresh brewed iced tea. Um, we have a lot to offer. The Gourmet Coffee House roasts over 39 uniquely flavored coffees. Some of their best sellers include blueberry cobbler and macadamia nut. With a successful shop in Goodrich, Michigan, plans to open up a second shop in Lake Orion have been in the works for years. Owner Kirk Walker says finally being able to expand into Lake Orion has been an act of God. I looked here three years ago and the numbers never worked and I've always been a believer in God that he would put me in an area where I need to be. Um, and three years later, the same exact guy I talked to to rent from came down where it would meet our budget and here I am. I can't wait. Awesome area, exciting downtown. Everybody's been very welcoming, so it's, it's awesome. Suzanne Perot with the Downtown Development Authority says a bean-to-go is exactly what downtown Lake Orion needed. 
When talking to people on the street about what type of businesses they want to see downtown, food is always in there. Bakery, coffee shop, those have been the top three things that I've been hearing for the last five years. And so it's very rewarding to finally have one of those types of businesses meeting the needs of the community. And I think it's going to do very well here and draw a lot of traffic downtown. And with the early arrival of winter, a bean to go is a great way to stay warm when visiting downtown Lake Orion. Reporting for ONTV News, I'm Katie Shimatero. Thanks, Katie. In April, Beaumont Health System established a wellness center within the Orion Center. Since then, representatives of Beaumont have offered presentations and services benefiting seniors and recently hosted a health fair that was well attended. On Friday, November 21st, the lower level of the Orion Center was the site of the Beaumont Senior Health Fair. The event was free to the public and seniors were invited to visit 10 different wellness stations that assessed things like blood pressure, vision, nutrition, and more. Each participant is encouraged to take the results of the test to their own physician. Well, Beaumont really is a community hospital and we're out in the Lake Orion. We have our Lake Orion Beaumont Medical Center, so we're community hospital based. Uh, health center and we want to be out here to offer people services you know in this health care reform everything's about preventative identifying things ahead of time before they become a problem we want easy access we know things aren't as affordable as they used to be so this is part of what we like to do is community outreach well there's a lot of seniors especially out in this area that may not be um, have access to Healthcare, you know, they might have transportation needs, and so we thought this was a great way to bring um, this to the community so that it provides a nice local place for them to come for free. We can, you know, provide some fun, some raffle giveaways, and, and hopefully um, um, advertise about the center as well. In addition to the wellness stations, visitors were able to collect information as well. Representatives of Beaumont's Home Health Services were in attendance to answer questions about in-home assistance with bathing, dressing, and grooming needs. Um, I think it's very important for people to attend this event um, because they need to know what we offer or what, what is offered to them. Sometimes um, I find even with telephone calls that come in, people do not understand the type of services that is offered to them. They don't understand the choices that they have. So I think it's important to come to this event and so they can get a general idea of the services that are provided for them. Today has been a really wonderful collaborative effort between Beaumont Health Systems and Orion Township. We came together almost nine months ago to collaborate on a partnership that would bring a wellness center into the Orion Center itself. And the center is open for families, uh, seniors, young people. We're looking at doing a variety of activities in partnership with Beaumont. We're trying to partner into the schools more and try and work with the community and give additional information to the community on ways that they can become healthier. Um, so it's been a really nice partnership. We're really thrilled to work together. Beaumont Senior Health Works program meets the fourth Thursday of every month and addresses a variety of topics including osteoporosis, joint adventure, heart attack, before, during, and after naturopathic medicine, and much more. For more information or to view the upcoming schedule, visit oriontownship.org and navigate to the Community Programs page. As the holiday season gets underway, shoppers begin to search for that perfect gift for loved ones. The Orion Art Center offers a unique opportunity to find that one-of-a-kind gift while benefiting a worthy cause. On Wednesday, December 10th, the Orion Art Center will kick off its 14th annual holiday market with a grand opening at 7 p.m. Paintings, pottery, and jewelry created by Art Center members and local artists will be for sale with a portion of the proceeds benefiting the Art Center. Certainly to pick up a one-of-a-kind one piece. Uh, usually everything is just done through the artist's own vision and it's not duplicated. So beautiful opportunity to pick up a unique gift. And of course to help a good cause. And always to help a good cause. We'll be open daily from 12 to 6 except for Mondays. The holiday market kicks off on December 10th and comes to an end on Sunday, December 21st. Hours are noon to 6 p.m. The market is located in the southern portion of Diamond Dave's building on M24. The building's owner, Dave Sherman, has donated the space to the Art Center over the past several years. 
We thank him very much. Oh, he's, he's an angel. He's an <laughs> awesome guy helping the community. This whole event is based on volunteer work, the community based, and it's incredible how we all come together. Thanking Dave very much for all he does. With us being a nonprofit, if it wasn't for people like Dave that would volunteer these buildings and, and his time and, and everything else that he's done, I mean, we couldn't do it. So, and thank you to the artists for part, you know, pitching in. If they didn't contribute their works, then we wouldn't have the, the holiday market. So. The Art Center is still accepting applicants who are interested in selling their work at the holiday market. To apply, visit OrientArtCenter.org or give them a call at 248-693-4986. The Orion Township Public Library is known for so much more than just books. They also provide a ton of great programs and entertainment for all ages. On Thursday, November 20th, Adult Services held a meet and greet with former Army Captain and best-selling author Luis Carlos Montalvan and his very special companion, Tuesday. Montalvan travels the world with Tuesday, the service dog and subject of his book, Until Tuesday, A Wounded Warrior and the Golden Retriever Who Saved Him. He stopped by the Orion Township Public Library to discuss his personal experience with life after war and how Tuesday saved him from his mental health issues stemming from post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. Those in attendance were also treated to a demonstration of the benefits a service dog can provide. Tuesday showed off his ability to help Louise down the stairs, retrieve hard-to-reach items, and much more. After the discussion, patrons were invited to meet Montalvan and Tuesday and get their copy of his book signed. In addition to Until Tuesday, Montalvan also wrote a children's book narrated by Tuesday himself called Tuesday Tucks Me In, the loyal bond between a soldier and his service dog. For more information, visit Luis's website at luiscarlosmontalvan.com. The next big event at the library is the Giving Season Local Author Fair on Saturday, December 6th. Meet authors from the Metro Detroit area. Books for all readers of all ages will be available for signing and purchase. This is a great opportunity to find that perfect holiday gift. Another fun event the library recently hosted was International Games Day. ONTV's Monica Nowak brings us the story. Orion Township Public Library hosted their International Games Day on Saturday, November 15th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This event welcomed all ages to drop in and play games. Some of the many games included board games and card games and was put on by the American Library Association. The event had about 50 games where the whole world is brought together in a common purpose of spending time together and having fun. Well, we have some really great games. One of my favorite games we actually have in the youth department right now is called Fun Farm, and it's a really great game um, for children, um, even if they can't read yet. It's a really fun game to play as a family. Um, over in here, we have um, a little bit more hardcore games. We have Magic the Gathering, some Dungeons and Dragons, but we also have really fun party family games. Um, we have a game called Tapple, which is really good with all different ages, um, and then we also have uh, Settlers of Catan, which I like to call my gateway game. It's a good game to get people into playing games that they've never heard of. Families and friends all joined together for this one-day event, and due to the success of the events and the number of people who dropped in, the library hopes to offer one open game day every quarter of the year. For more information about the event or to see when the next International Game Day is, you can visit the library's website at orionlibrary.org. There was no main target audience the library was trying to push for, but rather wanted all ages to come and participate. What I want to do is get everybody from all ages to come in. Um, I personally play a lot of games with my family, you know, with my children and my husband, and it's a lot of fun and it's a really good time um, to spend as a family. And so I want to bring in people, you know, children, adults, teens, seniors. I just want everybody to come in and have fun. Plenty of fun international games are happening here today. The event is open for all ages, and more and more people are coming here throughout the day. In Orion Township, I'm Monica Nowak for ON TV News. Thanks, Monica. That's it for this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the entire crew, I'm Megan Peters. And I'm Cheryl Coonan. Thanks for watching.